Is this oh, yeah. driven yeah. by that? At what point did you think, oh, I have to do something about this? I knew, I knew my weight, um, I knew visibly when I looked in the mirror and also clothes, um, I knew that I'd especially the last few months, I put on a substantial amount of weight. And I was very conscious when taking photos. Like if someone was taking photos of me, I'd, I'd ask to have a look at it, or I would, um, I would say, oh, can you change the angle, or this and that. And I knew it was, it was becoming, and as, as the months have gone on recently, more and more, like, I'm very fortunate. I never really get much hate on social media. I'm quite lucky that I, I'm, you know, quite liked, but I've noticed the last few months, the trolling has been getting more and more and more and more. And focused as on the, your way. Yeah, as the bigger I've got. And I just think, you know, with that headline, you know, about the death row thing, initially I was, you know, I do tend to laugh things off and I'm quite thick skinned. I think being on Towie for nine years, I'm used to being bantered or having things written and said about me, but it does still, it can still hurt yeah. and it can really, and it can still affect you. Tried to laugh it off, but, um, but it hurts. I think it hurts. Yeah, it yeah. hurt. And not just that, usually before, my friends, they might have a bit of a laugh and joke about my love for food or the fact that I've always been a bit of a, you know, a bit of a chubby checker and whatever. But now it's gone to a point where no one's really laughing well, anymore. What is your relationship oh. with food? Um, I've always gone up and down. Um, since I was, I think, a teenager, like half of the year I could be, you know, really, really slim to a point where people are like, oh, you don't need to lose any more. And in the other half of the year, I can put on drastic amounts of weight where I'm, um, I'm you know, morbidly o obese. And so is it an emotional relationship? Do you, do you, do you eat? Comfort. Because you know, we know that you've yeah. been to rehab, you know, and there've been the drink yeah. and the drug issues. And are you an all or nothing sort of guy? I, I believe so, yeah. But I think that, um, I think my primary problem I think it does actually stem from food. I think that's my number one issue in an eating disorder and stuff. I think that, um, like, where I've, you know, I've, I'm proud of myself and I've managed to, you know, do really well career-wise the last nine months and I've managed to stay clean and sober, but I think that instead of me now, I don't know, going out with me mates, going clubbing, if I feel, if I've had a good day or a bad day, going to get drunk, going to party, instead of me doing that, I'm probably, you know, I'm probably acting out on food or eating yeah. on emotions or comfort eating and stuff. So you've like got to deal. You've got to deal with that really as well, haven't you? Yeah. You've got to sort of look into the reason why you're, you know, you are eating to sort out these emotions. We, we, you spent some time with Dr. Rand this morning, didn't yes. you? Yes. Yeah. He was so brilliant. He's been talking to you. Uh, he's downstairs now. We can call, uh, speak to him. Hi, Rand. There we go. Hello. Um, so, Hi. what did you two speak about this morning then? So, Arj, uh, everything I'm going to say, I say out of love, but it's tough love. You know you're significantly overweight. We measured you earlier and we weighed you, and your BMI is 44, which means you're significantly obese and you're at risk long-term of things like heart disease and type 2 diabetes. So, looking at your measurements, you actually, long-term, need to lose 10 stone to get your BMI back towards that normal range and you need to lose 17 inches off your waist. Now, if you're going to be realistic about this and let's say we're going to aim for long term that you lose something like two pounds a week, which would be, I think, a sensible amount to start losing, um, then you need to cut your daily calorie intake. So you need to be mindful of your calories down to around two and a half thousand calories a day. OK. And okay. what do you think when you hear that? Um, I mean, I've, I've done it before, so I can do it again. I think, whereas before, like you said, it's kind of all or nothing. I might walk away from the shear today and then all of a sudden I'm near on starving myself and I'm training three times a day and it's all very drastic and quick and I know that isn't the way of going about it. What I've taken from Doctor is that it needs to be a long-term goal mm. and it needs to be a realistic... Obviously, it's quite scary, the thought that, um, you know, 10 stone is a hell of a lot of weight and it seems like a marathon um, and it seems like it's, you know, it's not going to be a quick fix. But, yeah, not, and not if, uh, if, you, if, you, if you try and do it all in one go, then, yeah, it's, it's difficult, but bit by bit by bit. The other thing, we've, we've discussed this a lot, um, is if you don't buy the 
junk food. If you don't yeah. buy the rubbish, you can't eat it. No. So if you sit in bed and you say you sit and you have a bit of a lie-in and you watch the telly and you have something to eat, if you haven't bought it, if it's not in the house, you can't have it. Yeah. Um, and so, uh, so a, lot of, a lot of the time it's access, thinking, right, OK, well, maybe get a mate to do your shopping for you and buy healthy stuff, that sort of thing. Um, and, uh, and don't have that sort of stuff in the house. Yeah. Um, and also the other thing is um, emotionally. I mean, we know that, and I know we won't go into it too much because it is, you know, it, it's, well, I don't know where it is, up or down yeah. or <laughs> with, with Gemma. Yeah. Is there a, the emotional aspect of that relationship? I, does that help, does that help you or hinder you? Um, uh, I mean, I wouldn't, I would never say that me and my relationship with Gemma is, you know, is, a, is an effect on my weight gain because that just, that wouldn't be fair on Gemma. But I think that at the moment, I think for me personally, I need to, you know, take a bit of time out from the relationship and so uh, really you've focus. You're, you're yeah, separated just take a bit of time off um, um, and focus on myself, get myself back to where, where I want to be. Um, and then who knows, but you know, I, I adore Gemma. Um, I love her dearly. Absolutely, yeah. Just at the moment, though, Gemma's very busy. We both are. We both need to focus on, our, on ourselves. Um, but, you know, definitely, I, you know, I love her to, love her to bits. Yeah. How are you, um, you going to do it as far as exercise and stuff? Because you can't really just achieve it with diet no. alone. So are you going to exercise? I mean, well, what's I, the plan? I love what? boxing. Um, I'm, a, I'm a massive, massive boxing fan, and, and boxing's the only real exercise that I exercise. love. Yeah, I love it. So um, I've just signed up to a gym uh, in East London, Canning Town, called the Peacock Gym. And one of my best friends, close friends there, Anthony Yard, he's he's training. Uh, he's training at the moment. He's going to become a world champion. So um, uh, you know, he's fully behind me, mentoring me, pushing me along. Mm -hmm. um, there's some great lads down the gym. There's a trainer called Tunde Ajayi who, who always says, um, dream it, believe it, and become it. So that's well, it what, that's like what I'm going to do. Well, it sounds like you've got some good people around Absolutely. you. I'm very lucky. Also, there is somebody that wants to wish you good luck and show oh, you yeah? a bit of support. Watch this, Arge. Arge, a little message from me, <laughs> your good old mate Mark, to wish you all the luck in the world. This is an amazing journey you're about to go on and so brave of you to put it out there to the world to see you potentially succeed or fail. You're not going to fail because you're a winner and it's about time we change. You've been talking about this for too long, so this is it. This is your chance to feel healthier, to feel better in yourself mentally and physically. And I'm with you every step of the way if you need me, as always. I love you. Good luck. Ah, oh, <laughs> how nice, nice. is that? Yeah, and it nice. is really brave yeah. of you. It's seriously brave of you yeah. to do that. That's not easy coming on telly and talking about your no. Every no, you no, are I, very, I, you are yeah. very brave. And you're doing this for you. You're not. This isn't. There isn't a deal. Or no, a there isn't. There isn't. There, there isn't a deal. There wasn't a big appearance yeah. fee for today. Yeah. It's just literally. No, there never is. <laughs> <laughs> there, this is literally just an opportunity for me to really own it. Put some pressure on myself and and change. Good luck. All right. Well, good luck. Well yeah. done. Thank you so much. Thank All right. You. Take Thank care. You.